Welcome to Anderson Lane this morning. We are here today talking about ways to save you hundreds when you're budgeting for your baby. If this is your first time here, please like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Welcome to Anderson Lane. Today we're going to talk about four different areas where you can help in budgeting for your baby. Your closet, in the kitchen, in the baby's closet, and in the nursery. So you might be thinking, what the heck does my closet have to do with baby? Well, before baby gets here, you are going to be in maternity clothes. Yes, you are going to need maternity clothes. Maternity clothes are not cheap. So I have two tips for cutting costs in your closet. Tip number one. Thrift stores. So the thing is with buying from thrift stores is most people don't wear their maternity clothes more than nine months. I have found motherhood maternity clothes, I have found Gap maternity clothes, and paid hardly anything for them. Also don't forget to check out your local discount stores. They have lots of new items at reasonable prices. Pants and shirts. It's a great place to find things. Tip number two for your closet is hand-me-downs. Don't be afraid if your sister or sister-in-law or friend or neighbor or whoever offers you their maternity clothes. Take them. Let them have spent the expense on maternity clothes and you get the fun of wearing them. And realize that you're not going to wear these clothes for very long. So why pay a ton on a whole new wardrobe that you're going to use for less than a year? Place number two in the kitchen. There are a few things that you can do before baby even gets here to save you money. Tip number one, make meals and put them in your freezer. So I promise you after you have the baby, life is going to be a little crazy and hectic. A great idea to do beforehand is to make freezer meals. These are meals that you would normally eat anyway and your whole family can have a nutritious meal that you would normally eat without having to go out. Because let me tell you, going out costs you extra money that you don't need to spend and it doesn't help shed those after baby pounds. Tip number two can also happen before baby is here. It's the government program called WIC, Women, Infant, and Children. If you are a low income family, check this out. Just Google WIC and find your local WIC office and see if you qualify. The qualifications are there online for you. This just helps supplement your nutrition for you and your baby. Another tip is once your baby gets to where it's actually eating food, make your own. It doesn't take that much. You don't have to have a bunch of special equipment to make it. it saves you a lot of money than buying those little jars that are everywhere. Okay guys, I got everything that you see here and even this diaper bag for free. So you don't have to spend a lot. You can get these things for free. You just have to know where to get them. So sign up for your online registries. A lot of them give you a free gift bag. Sign up to do product reviews. That's how I got the backpack and the bibs. And look on your local Facebook marketplace for things that people are giving away. It's a great place to find free items that people just aren't using anymore and just want to go to a good home. And the last thing is, if you are breastfeeding, you are going to need a breast pump. So check with your insurance company and see if they offer discounts or fully cover any breast pumps. Place number three is in your baby's closet. Okay, I'm gonna tell you something that might break your heart, but baby doesn't care what they wear. So it's all about mom and dad and aunties and uncles and what they want to get for them. First off, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to give you blankets and clothes for your baby once you have it. So limit the things that you buy. Be smart and think about the things that you really need. That You don't have to buy all of your baby clothes brand new. Don't forget to check out your local thrift stores and consignment shops. I was able to get all of these items for baby for a dollar each. Just cute items that have barely been used. Second tip on buying baby clothes. Shop your local department stores, but do it when they're off season. Just make sure that when you do this, that you are buying the right sizes. So if you have a newborn in the fall and you're going to buy summer clothes for the next year, make sure those are like six to nine, nine to 12 month clothes. 
And don't leave out your local discount stores. These also have great deals on cute clothes. On to the last part that we are going to talk about, part four, the baby nursery. This is probably my favorite part. This is the place where you can literally save hundreds in your items alone. First of all, you need to make sure that you're not paying extra for things that you don't really need. There's a ton of things on the market that people are marketing towards you. For instance, bottle warmers, wipe warmers, diaper pails, bathtub temperature gauges. That wasn't even a thing until recently. So some of these things you don't really actually need and you probably won't use that much. Write a list of the items that you really, really want and then scour discount stores, Facebook marketplaces, your local classifieds, and garage sales. See what you can find on that list. Lots of times people are getting rid of those exact items that they didn't use for very long because they no longer need them. I'm going to show you guys all the things that I got online that literally saved me hundreds. I have one item that saved me hundreds of dollars alone. I was ecstatic about. I got this rock and play for $15. I got this car seat that is basically brand new and the stroller that goes with for $70 and I got this high chair for 20 do your homework on your items I was able to get this brand new inbox ergo carrier that's normally hundred and ten dollars on clearance at Target for forty dollars from somebody who had gotten two however this is what I pick as my biggest score this is an Upper Baby Vista stroller that normally in the store costs anywhere from $600 to over $1,000. I was able to get the full stroller with the rumble seat, the car seat adapter attachments, the travel case, the bassinet, and the bassinet holder, all for $175. So don't forget to check out your discount stores, Facebook Marketplace, thrift stores, and See what you can find. And don't forget to be patient. Know what you want, know what you're willing to pay for it, and don't go above that. I hope this helped you with your baby budget. You guys can literally save hundreds of dollars just by doing a little bit of work. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. Bye.